Good morning, so Jackson and I are off to go get breakfast right now at school. Yeah, at least I got to get story me. Man. Yeah, at least you get to go. Me. That's right, at least I get to spend time with you. At least for a while. Yep. Whoop whoop. Can you do that? Whoop whoop. Got a way to open up the door so he brought us a little chair so that he could hit that but you don't reach do you can you reach it no okay, put the chair away no you're not understanding you're not gonna you're not gonna reach it i know okay down down go put the chair away i'll get you a snack you get down so it's become tradition now for me to brine the turkey before I cook it. Um, I don't know, when did we start doing this, huh? Last year. Last year? I thought we did two years. Or we did it twice last year. And so I'm going to brine a turkey. It's not too hard and uh, fairly easy to do. So you can do this too if you like to. Um, that's how we're making this for my mother for her birthday. And it's nice because it's right before Thanksgiving, so you'll have an opportunity to do it as well. So let me show you what we do. Okay, so for our brine, we went ahead and filled it up with water, and we're going to let it come to a boil. It's already starting to heat up now. We have a three-quarters cup of sea salt, so we'll add that on there until that dissolves. Then we have rosemary, um, but you're supposed to use dried rosemary. We happen to have a rosemary bush, so we went ahead and used one tablespoon of rosemary. That's fresh. And then this is one tablespoon of sage. And then you can use a tablespoon of thyme, but we don't have it, so we went ahead and using this 21 uh, Seasons Salute. It has no salt in it, and that was one of the main things we wanted to make sure it had no salt, so it's a seasoning with no salt. It's got onion, black pepper, cayenne, stuff like that inside there. And so we're going to add one tablespoon of that as well. We're going to let this come to a boil, we mix it together, let it come to a boil, and then we're going to let it cool, and we're going to put this into a... Uh, like an ice chest, we're going to put Dr. Pepper in there, we'll add in this mixture that we're making right here, and then we're going to go ahead and add in a gallon of water, ice water, and let it sit overnight. So it's fairly simple. So now I'm just going to go ahead and mix mine all together, and let it come to a boil. While this is doing that, my wife's going to tell you about what she's making here. Hi there. So I'm making an apricot cranberry sauce fresh cranberries and these are my frozen apricots again some way to use them up so in here I put in 
just a big chunk of frozen apricots. I don't know how many, probably 30 apricots. And then two bags of cranberries, about 12 ounce bags. And I threw in a couple cinnamon sticks, sprinkled a little cinnamon, put about a cup and a half of water and a cup and a half of sugar. And I'm going to let it boil. And once it gets to a boil, I'm going to let it simmer for two and a half hours. And then I'll just taste it to see how tangy it is. And if it's a bit tangy, I'll add some more sugar. And I probably am going to add a little more cinnamon because I, I already know I didn't put enough in. And we'll see how it turns out. Once the cranberries start popping and making these pops noises, then they're getting cooked through. Okay, we'll come back later when it's ready. I see steam coming on out, so let's check it. Oh, that looks good. Oh, sorry, I messed you up. Yeah, it looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat. My wife's making candy yams. I just peeled some yams and I'm putting them in here to steam next. I don't normally do this, but we have all these leftover marshmallows from summer that we didn't roast. So I'm doing this. It's going to be fun. Yummy. So my wife is yamming it up. So you get a big old yam. <laughs> and you peel it. <clears throat> Real good. Just peel it. Sometimes I make this other recipe with yams. Where you peel them and then you um, steam them like this. And then you mash them. You put one egg in there when you beat them up. And you add um, cinnamon and some nutmeg. And then you can, I think you add honey or brown sugar and butter. And then you have it all whipped up and then you put it in a pan. So it's like mashed potatoes but they're yams. And then you um, sprinkle it with pecans or walnuts on the top and you bake it. I usually, let's see, I probably bake it for about at 350 for maybe 45 minutes or so. And it comes out really good. And a lot of Paul's family likes it that way because they're not into the marshmallows. Okay, so this is how I like it. I like a potato with salt and pepper and butter and garlic. The end. So when you get up, your, get your turkey out, and you open it up. I'd leave it in the sink. It's easier for me to clean it out that way. There was a bag right here. This is for making gravy. I just took it on out. Uh, you got to take off all the the neck inside. Let's see if there's one in here. Sometimes there's a neck, and it doesn't look like in our situation there is one. So then I just got to take off the plastic. Oh, here it is. Here's the neck. Found it. Make sure to take that out. If you have use for it. Um, like take a broth or something, you can go ahead and do that as well. Looks like everything. So I'm going to go ahead and move this now. Okay? Brine is simple. Just simply take a gallon, I'm sorry, a two liter bottle of Dr. Pepper. If you want to, you can use something like apple juice or uh, chicken, I'm sorry, vegetable broth. We choose to use Dr. Pepper. Now, I need to add in a gallon of water. In order to do that, it's about two and three quarters um, of one of these Dr. Pepper bottles. So I just added one. But because I plan to use ice, and it needs to be ice water, I'm not gonna add in the other three quarters of water. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the ice instead. All right, this is the broth that we made earlier. That was the last part. Right in there, it's cooled down now. Okay, let's make sure it's important to put the breast side down. Submerged in there. Then I'm gonna cover it and let it sit for a day. And we'll go through tomorrow. Well, that was easy enough. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the notes for this in the description down below. So if you'd like to do this yourself, just look down there. So today seems to be all about food. Got donuts this morning, fried the chicken, turkey, made. Uh, what did we make? Cranberry sauce and candy yams. And now Kimmy's making. Oh, I worked on the dough this morning with my bread machine, which makes it so easy. So I just made my dough mix.
mixture in there and let it rise. And, and then... Shh. Hi. Leftover spaghetti sauce on top from the other night. Becomes my pizza sauce. She's putting poison stuff on it right now. now. put it on part of it for crying out loud. Hey, stop. And then she's going to put on some chicken. I wish I had some barbecue sauce on part of one of these puppies. And cheese. And there's my troublemaker of a child. Hi. Oh, no.